Now, another story I got in the book that I didn't know about, uh, you talked before about Michael's father uh, being so supportive at an early age and, and Randy having Randy as well as family thing. Um, the story about Rossan Roland Kirk hearing the Brecker brothers and how uh, the elder Brecker responded. I forgot. What's his father's name? Bobby. Bobby. How Bobby responded. Could you tell us that story? Well, Bobby was, you know, incredibly supportive of his sons and would attend all their gigs. Uh, this particular gig you're talking about was at the Bijou. I think it might have been one of their first Brecker Brothers gigs in Philly. It might have been their first Philly appearance as the Brecker Brothers. And they opened for Rossan Roland Kirk. So given it's their first gig, maybe their album hadn't even come out yet. So the audience came there to see Rossan and they're like, who are these guys? You know, and it was uh, sort of an um, uncomfortable vibe from the audience, not knowing who this opening band was. Um, Rossan came on and sort of dogged them. It's like, who are these? white boys with their amplifiers and this shit, you know, and, and, and during their set, people were yelling like, Rasan don't need no amplifiers, you know, and all this kind of dogging them. And of course, Bobby being the ultra supportive father wanted to defend his sons to the point of going backstage and duking it out with the blind Rasan. You know, Randy had to like sort of hold him back. And, uh, yeah, that was just an uh, over-exuberant uh, father trying to stand up for his sons when he felt that they were being uh, disrespected, taken advantage of, whatever. He flew to their defense and was ready to do fisticuffs. Yeah. Luckily, luckily, Randy held him back and nothing happened, but it was a moment, you know, and it sort of personifies Bobby's... Uh, fiery persona. Oh, <laughs> 